Oh, it's kind of cold down here. No, but um, that's also how I get into state. That's how I in my peak performance mode, you know. That's always what I do right before a video. That's what I do before I walk in for a job interview. That's what I do when I start feeling bad. You know, I do that out in public. It makes me crack up. But that's besides the point. That's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is ultimate motivation because a product that I am developing right now is about how to get motivated and how to stay motivated for an extended period of time so you can reach all your goals, you know, your financial goals, your relationship goals, just goals in your life and not just goals you know because uh goals are not what they used to be like years ago you know a hundred years ago when napoleon hill wrote think and grow rich you know a goal wasn't what it is today what goals today you know it's like people oh i want to lose weight but how many people actually stick to that what people actually stick to is a vision you know how the future has to be for them and uh you know it's a lot different than a goal like uh i first found my vision, you know, I figured out this is what I wanted to do at the, like, maybe about halfway through December. Because, you know, I had this goal when I was really young. I mean, not just a goal, but a vision for the future. I'm like, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be a millionaire by the time I'm 30. And uh, I woke up December of last year and I'm like, man, I'm 25 and I have not taken any big strides in that direction and I have no idea how I am going to get there. So... I started reading constantly because I'm like, there's no way I'm not hitting this goal and I've only got five years left to do it, which five years is a long time. I mean, the, the further I get into this and the bigger strides that I take every day, the more I realize that five years is more than enough time. I could have started, you know, a year before 30 and I would have blown up by the time I was 30. I mean, even more so because I have, I had all that experience, you know, and all that stuff, you know, I mean, but uh, the thing about a vision is, you know, you can't just hope for it to happen. You can't just say, this is what I want for the future and then just expect it to happen. You have to put in the work. I mean, with me, I'm, I am literally obsessed with this shit. Like, I mean, if you can't tell, this is all I talk about all day. I'm at work talking to my coworkers, you know, I mean, I work at a pizza place, you know, none of these people have these kind of visions for their future. None of them are that excited about what the future holds because, you know, there's students, they're, you know, like working on their four year degree and they're making $10 an hour. And so by the time they graduate, they're going to owe so much money and they're barely surviving right now. So it's not cool. You know, you have to strive for your vision to make it happen. You know, my vision is to help, you know, 10,000 people avoid all the crap that I went through, you know, because I mean, if you've watched my videos, you know my story, you know that I was on drugs, you know, heroin and meth for quite a while. Uh, you know that I was homeless, you know, I mean, and it's crap, you know, like it's not the past that matters. If anything, the past is what is driving me right now. You know, uh, for a long time, my family didn't talk to me. Uh, I lost a relationship that I was in for four years. She cheated on me. Uh, I wanted to kill myself. You know, I lost my apartment. I was sleeping on a friend's couch or actually not even on their couch. I was sleeping behind their couch, like on the floor for probably about a year. And, uh, they didn't know I was on drugs and I was doing drugs at their place. And, uh, you know, someone said, someone posted on Facebook some shirt that said, if you did anything to get high, then you can do anything to stay clean. And uh, I believe that very much. And I'm going to take that one step further. I did anything to get high, so I can do anything to succeed. And uh, that's what I'm doing. That's why, you know, you see on my website, mypathtoself.com that... I am posting constantly. If you watch my YouTube videos, you know that I'm putting out two to four videos every single day. Uh, some of them are audios, you know, because I'll be walking around in the middle of the night and I don't have a camera with flash. So I just turn it into an audio for you guys because, you know, the, the content is all there. And uh, my speaking is really what matters. Like, I want to be such a great speaker that you don't have to watch my videos necessarily. You just put them on in the background and they inspire you. They charge you up for the day. And uh, that's that's really what my goal is. So, you know, any way I can do this, you know, is is fair game for me. I'm going to do every, every fucking thing in my power to help 10,000 people. And, you know, I mean, if you've watched my video, I can't get no satisfaction. You, you know that as soon as I start getting close to that 10,000, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm almost there. You know, I, I'm, I'm done. No, 
When I get close to 10,000, I'm bumping it up. It's going up to 50,000. You know, when I get close to 50,000, it's going to bump up to 100,000. When I get close to 100,000, it's going to bump to 250,000. You know, it's just going to go up and up and up and up and up until I change a third of the world or what, whatever, you know, like, I mean, I'm starting early. I have the time to do this. You know, I mean, here's how things are going to play out for you. I'm not telling you my goals. I'm telling you my vision. I'm telling, I'm not telling you what I hope will happen. I'm telling you what is going to happen. Okay. Within the next month, I am starting to sell on the phone or starting to set appointments on the phone for my coach. From there, I am going to be making a ridiculous amount more money than I am at Papa Murphy's. So that shit is gone. I'm I'm not working at, oh shit, I'm not supposed to say their name. But uh, yeah, I mean, I know you guys are going to tell them. No, but you know, I'm quitting there. Like as soon as possible, literally. Like if I could quit today, I would skip work and quit today. But uh, you know, right now, I mean, it's, it's not in the cards for today. But okay, so those two things. I'm going to get my first coaching client within the next two months. I'm going to get my next three coaching clients within the next month after that. I'm going, it's going to start, like I said, you know, it's maybe going slow right now, but it's going to start, you know, skyrocketing. And that's what is, that's what's happened since the beginning of December when I started getting, when I dived headfirst into this, when I created my own vision for the future, when I created my own vision, I just opened up, I opened up a door, you know, I flipped a switch in my mind. I, I, I created something that hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. I created it. It's, it's like, I, I thought about it and I'm like, okay, this is not what I, this is what I want to happen, but no, this is what is going to happen. And, uh, there's a big difference between those two. If you don't know already, you know, saying this is what is going to happen and this is what I want to happen. Don't want need, you know, make happen, you know, create. Don't consume, you know, screw TV. You know, if you're watching, let's just say, you know, you're one of the few Americans that watches less than an hour of TV a day. Why even do that? If you don't care that much about TV, work on your dreams, work on your vision, man. Inspire people. That's what it's all about, really. Like, you know, you think you think if you were to die after a year or after a lifetime of watching TV that someone is going to be at your funeral and they're going to be like, man, I'm really going to miss this. No, dude. Work on your vision, change lives, change your own life, change yourself, man. Change your family, change the, your friends, change the world, create a legacy. That's what it's all about, man. Like seriously, you know, I mean, and you might be one of those people that's like, you know, I don't need money. I don't care about money. Well, you know what? I mean, I want to say that I don't care about money too, but it's not true. You know, I mean, you can't, you can help millions of people if you have millions of dollars. You can't help anybody if you're broke. You know, worse than that, if you're broke, you're going to be depressed. You're going to actually, you're going to be hurting people by being around them and being in that state. It's not good. You know, you gotta, you gotta strive for greatness. You have to. I mean, I have friends. It's, it's really sad. I mean, they're not, they're not going to watch these videos because they don't want to improve as bad as I do. But, you know, I have friends that are not that much older than me and they've just given up on life. You know, they've, they're like so content with just scraping by, you know, like collecting unemployment and paying the rent with unemployment and not even looking for a new job, just playing video games all day. Yeah, it's it's sad. You know, it's like like one part of me wants to go and try to inspire them and try to influence them into doing better for themselves. But at the same time, I'm I, I don't want to spend that time because I could again, I could be doing things that will really make a difference. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take to turn someone like that around. I have to inspire by being, by, uh, by being inspiring. You know, I have to like, I mean, I have to create something great. So, you know, I can show them and be like, man, look at what I made. And you know, they're, they're going to wake up from that mental days that they're in. You know, I mean, I, it's sad. Like it's really like it, it weighs, it weighs on my emotions knowing that people that I, that I like, you know, my friends, are like that, you know, I mean, I can't believe, I can't believe that I was like that. I can't believe that I was worse than that. You know, like, I don't even know, like, I don't even know who I used to be. You know, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, this is who I am. You know, I don't know who I, who I was when I was on those things. Everyone around me told me that I was a different person when I was on those things. And I mean, 
I can't imagine it was a better version of myself. You know, I know for a fact it wasn't a better version of myself because I know right now I'm the best version of myself. I'm the best version of myself right now in a day that's going to change. I'm going to be the best version of myself tomorrow. I'm going to be the best version of myself a week from now. I'm going to be the best version of myself a year from now. I'm going to be the best version of myself a decade from now. And, you know, I'm going to, again, uh, 10 years from now, I'm going to look back and I'm going to be like, man, I don't know who the fuck that person was, but that was not me. And, uh, I just, I, I implore you guys to do the same, you know, create a vision for yourself and start working towards it. Be obsessed with it. Every minute that you have, ex every extra minute that you have, put it into what you love, put it into creating, not consuming you know, work out, you know, work, work out, you know, work out your mind, work out your body, work on your business, create a business, get ideas, write things down, read, you know, learn that that's, that's what it boils down to learn and apply that. Like, you know, people say that life is all about survival and repl replication. I think this one is even better. Learn and apply. Don't just learn. Don't just apply. Learn and apply. Get better every day. Get better at taking action every day. Get better better at everything you want to do every single day. Get closer to your vision, you know? Become that person that you see yourself being in your vision. You know, just be committed. I mean, this is kind of a general motivational video today, but no, it's it's for, it's from the heart, man. It's it's from right right here, you know, like You've got to go out there and you've got to make shit happen. You've got to put in your time. You know, like, uh, what what was it? Brandon Carter, he's this workout guy on YouTube. Watched one of his videos today and he said, the ultimate revenge, actually Frank Sinatra said this. He said it was a Frank, Frank Sinatra quote. He said, the ultimate revenge is massive success. And I agree with this. You know, how many how many times have I been told, you know, oh, you're going nowhere in life or, you know, like you need to get a better job or blah, 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 blah. You need to stop wasting your time with that Internet thing. You need to stop wasting your time with what you want to do. Why the hell would I do that? Why? Uh, so I can be depressed like the people that are telling you that? No. You know what? I'm going to surpass all of them. I'm going to be. 10 times as great as all of them. And then I'm going to look down on them and I'm going to be like, I fucking told you so. That is what is important. You know, I want to be happy. And this is what makes me happy. I look angry right now. It's because I am angry. I don't understand why people are like that. But, you know, that's why I'm working on learning to change them. But uh, this video is getting kind of long. So I'm going to let you guys go. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will put something else out later on today, and it hopefully will be even better than this one. So uh, this is EJ from MyPathToSelf.com. Check out my blog if you haven't seen it. And like I said, subscribe if you want to see some new videos, because I put out a lot every day. All right, guys. I'll see you later.